There are two ways to do headings in Markdown. The Probably the best way to do it is with just hashes. So if you want an H1, you just give one hash and, and you say uh, about Wes Boss, and that will give you an H1. If you want an H2, you say about the guy, that will give you an H2, and then you can give yourself another H2 right here called tech. And the cool thing about this is that if you put this markdown on GitHub or anything like that, what it will do is it'll automatically put IDs on your headings so that you can link to them. So anytime that you're on a, a GitHub documentation, someone will be able to link halfway through. And as similarly, Marked will also give you a really nice table of contents here that if this was a really big one, maybe like Lorem 100, if I just put a whole bunch of this in here and I want to get down to my tech one, I could just open this up, click on tech, and it would scroll me right down to that one. So uh, lots of markdown tools provide you the option to have a really slick table of contents. So that's why uh, keeping your heading levels is really important. Now we've got all kinds of other headings as well. Obviously you can probably figure it out that three will be a heading three and et cetera, et cetera. The other way that you can do it is if I had some text here and I wanted an H1, you can put a whole bunch of um, equal signs under it as long as you have three of them. And generally people will do them as long as the heading that will give you a heading one and then you can have a heading two. You can use dashes underneath it. And that will give you a similar thing as well. But I'm not a big fan of this way. I much prefer uh, the highlighted with the hashes root, especially because that goes all the way. There's no way it's, this is only for at one and two. There is no three whereas this goes one all the way through six.